time my beautiful Gemini welcome to my channel my name is Natasha goddess of life 11 11 if you are new to my channel welcome if you are returning subscribers welcome back this reading is for my lovely beautiful Gemini Sun Moon rising Venus and Jupiter Thank you, God. Thank you, universe. Universal energy. My sister, my spirit guide, the pure white light. I can draw my call. Ascended masters, please give my lovely, beautiful Gemini a clear, precise, honest message. Thank you. Thank you. This is a general love reading. It won't resonate with everyone. If this reading is not resonate with you, please check out your other birth, <laughs> your other uh, birth chart for more clarity. Take what resonates and leave the rest. Thank you so much, Gemini. I appreciate all of you for subscribe, like, share, and comment. Energy of fluids. Take what resonates and leave the rest. If this reading is not for you, it's not for you. Thank you so much. I love you all, my Gemini, that have been supporting my channel. I appreciate you guys. I am so grateful and thankful. And I'm sending lots of love, la life, love, and blessing your way. Okay. Love abound. You have at the bottom, you have a brand new, oh, yes. You have a brand new Ace of Cups coming your way. Um, could be with a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. You're going to, this is about change. I'm feeling like some change, understanding, putting work together. We're going to work together to make this relationship. We're both going to put effort and work to it to make it work. I like it. You have the moon here. We'll start with you. Oh, yes. Gemini, here you are. I love it. You have a secret lover. <laughs> I felt like Gemini. You are secretly missing, loving, thinking of someone. You can tell me whatever you want. Oh, Gemini. Well, for God's sake, who are you missing? They have this person also is a great manifester. Yes, I'm telling your business because I feel like you're like, Natasha, why? <laughs> yeah, whomever this person is could be a Virgo. Virgo, Aries, Gemini, you know, someone like you, Leo. But I feel like someone is trying to tame themselves. They try to resist things. But at the same time, this person is released. They try to release control. They try to hold on to control. This is someone that tried to manipulate things a little bit here. That's what I'm feeling here. Because, you know, this person say, I can manifest you if I want to. And I could also release you if I want to. But someone is very indecisive here. It could be a Virgo or a Leo. But I feel like someone is trying to resisting this love that's coming your way. It's with a Virgo. So is Virgo Capricorn. I heard Virgo. So we're going to keep Virgo, okay? All right, Jimmy. <laughs> my Gemini, I love you guys. I have a million Gemini in my family. Mm -hmm. Release your ex. Oh, release your ex in for yourself. Boy, run, girl, run. Whatever this is and stuff like that, it's like the universe is telling you something. Release your ex in for yourself. That's what coming told you with this <laughs> religious factor. Yes. Like I say, you kid, you are missing this person. <clears throat> you think about this person. You cannot try to uh, close my throat chakra because, you know, the magician in here. What I'm feeling here, someone in here. Y'all don't get along, but you still think about this person because this is the lovers. This is you. This person is trying to manipulate things, but you thinking about them, whether it's not all the time because you guys doesn't get along very well. We treat. True love. 
forgiving learning yeah you guys could all have um definitely have some types either you or someone he is holding to someone else they need to release someone definitely has an ex they need to free themselves from and they need to release and i feel like for you you need to go be by yourself a little bit you are thinking about this person they feel like you are their true love but i feel like someone in here wants you to also forgive them this person is trying to do, you know, their little manipulation and stuff like that so they can they can come through with you so you can forgive them. They just try to figure out a way to do it because I feel like they're resisting. They're resisting, try to resist you and knowing that they feel like you are their true love at the same time. Very complicated, Gemini. Who are you dealing with? Like I say, an earth sign? Mm-hmm. I feel like someone... But <clears throat> you think of this person too. But you guys does it when it's come to communication, I feel like you might have some communication issues you got to deal with. You don't see eye to eye in a lot of stuff. That's what the angels. look at that seven of cups with the three of emotion okay let me tell you i'm be flat out it doesn't really matter how much love this person is offering you someone here got options so whomever this person is they're gonna come in and offer you some they're gonna come in and offer you love but your main thing is to um reject the offer to abandon this person to abandon this offer i'm not telling you what to do i'm just telling you what i know what i see so you can make a decision upon that because this person got the three of cups and the seven of cups that's um that's celebrating with other people that's a lot of celebration going on if you know what i mean night of materials for you which is that you know, it could be an apology, could be a commitment. You know, someone is coming toward you and they are coming fast. This here usually is slow. This person is coming very quickly, fast in a hurry. Um, the high priestess, see what I'm saying? This person is using, they're not um, having the high priestess and the magician here. Yeah, a whole lot of manipulation. This person is not talking to you. They miss you, but they're pretending they are very good at, manipula at manipulation here. Very good. Oh, you got the Knight of Material and the Ace of Inspiration. A brand new commitment coming your way. Yeah, both. Okay, let me show you. Look at that. The Knight of Materials. In the Ace of One, which is the Knight of um, the Knight of Pentacle and the Ace of Wands, those are what come and told you very lovely, lovely energy to have. They're both looking at each other, so you have a brand new beginning here. Okay, let's see what this person have. They have the Eight of Emotions. You know, it could be the same person. Like I say, this person could be manipulating uh, things in a way where they are not talking to you, but at the same time they are coming, they are coming for you without you not even knowing. Because this is the eight of emotion here. There's another eight here. And then you have the eight, another eight. That's triple eight, you know. Which is that there's a lot of going in circle. There's a lot of, you know, twist and, you know, what I'm saying to get things done that's gonna be hard the relationship in order for you there's gonna be a lot of twist and turn that's what I'm feeling here in order to get this relationship you know a lot of it could it will work but you're gonna have to do some bending in order for it to you know work the way you want to three of swords wow a brand new beginning but you're still feeling heartbroken the three of swords and for some of you this is you getting a lie with yourself the tears you're sharing is the essence ascension that's going on here that's what i'm feeling for some of you 
yeah this is someone that's very curious yeah that's what i'm saying whomever this person here um they could be um meggling with other people with three of emotion three of cups seven of cups that's someone that does have other options options if you know what i mean because this is someone that they work on a way in, instead of working away into the knight of cups they're working away and turn to a page very curious they you know doing imagery things and stuff because they have the three of cups and the seven of cups that's coming towards you you know oh knight of materials please clarify the knight of materials for my gemini judgment yeah someone from you i feel like this is someone i'm hoping this is someone new with the judgment it could be someone new it also could mean someone from your past but with the new with the ace of inspiration the ace of ones here i feel like this is someone new let's see clarify the judgment card please okay gemini you could have Capricorn in your chart, but I feel like, <laughs> or you could have a Scorpio and you, you could have Scorpio uh, dealing with a Scorpio or a Capricorn. This is someone that's going to be a little bit obsessed over you. If it's this person is someone new, it's going to be a bit obsessive. Mm. Clarify the devil. The devil with the judgment. Yep yeah whomever this boy new person i think this is not someone new because the three of cups that's what was coming in the coming for you here and it's right here this is not this is someone that's totally <laughs> so toxic for you it's not even funny mm -hmm. this is toxicity here clarify the ace of inspiration this person is a dick they have uh, a lot of addiction this is someone that's, um, how do you say that? You know, they could have Scorpio in their chart. The judgment card hit this person could have uh, Scorpio in their chart, but very toxic person, very draining. Mm. An empress. This is you as the empress, my love. Clarify the empress, please. You are try you try to resisting that no beginning. <laughs> you try to resisting that no beginning. Knight of Wands. The unknown. I feel like this yeah, the Ten of Cups. Someone wants the ten ten of cups with you. I feel like you are dealing with someone who doesn't who's very um a succubus someone who doesn't who doesn't get satisfied very easily here mm. ouch clarify the three of swords please for gemini clarify the three of swords could be a leo involved Page of Swords, here you are. You ready to cut someone? You ready to end stuff? Clarify the Ten of Swords, please. There's communication after this ending. Let's see what's going on here. Clarify the Eight of Emotions. Because the High Priestess doesn't talk here. Brand new beginning. Ace of Pentacles could be an apology, could be a gift. Mm, resistance. There was an ending for real. This person is resisting. Seven of Wands, they could be protected spiritually. They're resisting change. This person doesn't want to change. They doesn't want to change who they are. Mm -mm. They resist. The Wheel of Fortune is about change. This person doesn't want to change who they are. They want you to accept them for who they are. That's what I hear. That's what I'm feeling here. Yeah, I see the moon. This person doesn't want to change. They want to be who they are. You could be dealing with the cancer. 
Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Yeah, someone that's very manipulative. Um, wow. Yeah, you could be definitely dealing with a Virgo. Virgo, Aries, or Gemini like yourself. Clarify the, uh, the magician in the reverse, please. Oh, yeah. Uh, like I say, this person have options. They are draining. They are very, um, they're obsessive. They, I feel like they're addicted. They've, they got a very addicted personality. They don't satisfy and they resist to change. Even if the universe bring this person the tower, they will go back to the same toxicity they are. That's what I'm feeling here. Because you got the judgment card with the devil in the three of cups. That's someone that's very toxic, who doesn't want to change, who, you know. And then over here you have the wheel of fortune with seven of wands and also the ace of cups. It's just someone, they want to come. They want to come and bring you a gift, but they don't want to change anything. It's just crazy because this person is manipulative as heck. They secretly want, you know, they secretly want you, but at the same time, they're manipulative. I feel like they might try to manipulate you because they want other. The magician is here twice. We have the magician here twice, and we have an upright and a reverse. And I saw once I saw the high priestess. I said that in the beginning, this person is. I feel like they try to manipulative. You know, being manipulative, they try to say, "Well, I want to be with you, but I will have to be in control." This is what this person want. Thank you, thank you, Archangel Michael. This person wants to be with you, but they want to be in control because they do not want to change. They don't want to change for they don't want to change who they are they want you to accept them for who they are they just want to they want to be in control of the situation this could not be any clearer they want to still deal with the other people they are dealing with they want to still mingling with other people they want to deal with the only thing is they don't want to change they want you to accept them for who they are period let me see what angel guidance have to say for you because this is very clear reading very clear vulnerability and freedoms the angel is telling you here to you know you can be vulnerable but at the same time it's time for you to free yourself from this situation you got you know free yourself from the situation which for the star you need to pray meditate whatever you need to do uh, you can do better. That's what I'm feeling here. You can do better. Holy love. Look at this. He <laughs> he. There was something. Someone. Oh, surrender to the divine and cut the cord after that. Mm -hmm. You know, for some of you, you could have a a new connection that's coming toward you, but you need to feel vulnerable in order for this coming, for this to come toward you. And that would be this right here. Yeah, see freedom again. Once again, this some whomever that coming toward you, they're gonna offer you that no cup. They're also gonna say they, um, they are you know, a spiritual. You're gonna feel like this is a spiritual connection with that brand new energy, but at the same time, this is someone that's also toxic. Ay, 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 Gemini. Whomever that comes toward you, you need to tell them to go somewhere. I love you guys. I appreciate all of your help. Thank you for your support, your love. I love you guys. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe.